man. Natalie, I love when you're creepy and ridiculous. <laughs> like, that video, just like, I was smiling. Like, both of your guys' videos last week kept me smiling, like, the whole way through. I was kind of confused a little bit during um, Kylie's video because she was like not talking to the camera and she was like looking down and I was kind of like is Kylie reading off a paper or something and like I kind of got confused a little bit but then when like we got flashed with the British boys are mighty mighty spicy shirt I was like oh that's what she was doing the whole time but that shirt made me smile a lot <laughs> and I was just like, I need to watch what I say because a lot of the things that I say get like tweeted and like made into shirts now, I guess. <laughs> but like, I really liked it and I kind of, kind of want the shirt myself. <laughs> I sound kind of funny because I've been sick. Uh, I went to the doctor on Thursday and apparently I might have strep throat. And so I... Yeah, I've been lazing about. Today was my first day back at school. Well, actually, Saturday was, but we're not going to count that because that was like an hour and a half or so. But, um, yeah, I've been sick. But I'm tired of complaining about that, so we're going to continue. So, um, Kylie, the whole, like, with Lassiter comment, how you, like, I, you said I was going to throw up. I kind of sometimes think that Lassiter is attractive and it makes me feel really weird because, I mean, he's an odd, attractive man. Oh, my mom always tells me that I have weird taste in men, because whenever I say somebody's cute, she's like, yeah, but this guy's cuter. And I'm just like, no, mom, like, I, this guy is cute. Um, I just typed in weirdly attractive men for some reason into Google, and David Tennant came up, and I don't understand that, because I think that David Tennant is an extremely attractive person. Oh! I, when I was in my whole, like, early teenage years and whatnot, I was really in love with the band NSYNC, but I didn't like Justin Timberlake like everybody else did. I actually had a crush on Lance Bass, and then again, there was another unfortunate circumstance. I can't have Lance Bass. Michael Sarah, Yeah. Michael Sarah is kind of oddly attractive. Like, I think he's good looking, but I also at the same time know that he's kind of funny looking. At least I think so. Like, I, like, I mean, he's attractive, but I mean, like, he's kind of funny looking. And he reminds me of Fresned. Like, they really look like they could be, like, maybe brothers or, like, cousins or something. Dylan Morin, or Moran, I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying it right, but he plays um, Bernard Black from Black Books, and he's just portrays this, like, dirty Irishman who, like, drinks and smokes and just, like, he's not an attractive character whatsoever, but, like, he's extremely attractive to me, and I don't know why. I was just having this conversation earlier, actually, but he's extremely attractive, and I don't know why, but so it's Lance Bass, Michael Sarah, and Dylan Moran, but yeah. What I do want to know, though, is... What song has been stuck in your head this week? So far, mine has been When I Think About the Lord. Um, it's this really good song that I heard last week when I was watching Male Chorale sing, which is our male, like, choir, like, all male. Um, I was listening to them sing it, and I was just like, wow, like, this song is, like, really awesome. And, I like, I found it on iTunes and downloaded it, and it's been playing on repeat for a while. So what song has been stuck in your head the last week? All right. Natalie, I will see your beautiful face hopefully on Wednesday because I haven't seen it in a while and I miss it a lot. I love you guys. I miss you too, Kylie. We need to chat on Skype more because, yeah. <laughs>